In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a phenomenal way to beat Cover 3 over the top for an absolute dot in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my channel is devoted to helping you take your Madden game to the next level. And I do that through posting here on YouTube videos that are designed to help coach, teach, or showcase an effective tactic or tip in the game. And we post four times a day here on YouTube uh, with videos like that for you. So if you are interested in taking your game to the next level, I want you to do me a favor, do yourself a favor, and click the subscribe button right Right now on the video. All right, guys, we're talking cover three beater. I'm in the Tampa Bay playbook, and this is actually a really nice little um, bonus tip or bonus add on to a route combination we were just working on. So it's Bucks post, and all we're going to do to beat cover three is we're going to take Valdez Scantling's route, put him on a streak, and just motion him to the left. Now, when he sets up right here, you're just going to snap it up. And what you're going to see is Devontae Adams, when he gets to the outside, the corner is going to go to the vertical. And we'll show you this in instant replay really, really quick. It's a little bit more of a tighter window, in my opinion, whenever they're baseline like that. But what you'll see here, watch this corner. So... You're looking here, and you're thinking he's going to take that corner. Look, see right there? Now watch, right there, right there, he's going to flip, and he's going to go right toward the vertical. At that point that he flips, I see him turn, and you see Aaron Rod balls coming out of Aaron Rodgers' hands, and you're going to get an absolute dot against the cover three defense. We'll show you that again, and I just want to show it to you this time, and what we're going to do is we're going to man align the, um, the coverage, and we're going to shade coverage over top and just see if that makes any difference for this. But you'll see, again, when you do motion in a man align situation, the corners do kind of glitch out a little bit, and what you'll see is this is going to absolutely torch that cover three defense on the outside. I actually played a little bit better that time, but we will show you this real quick. So we're man aligned. Again, all you're going to do, whoops, don't motion the running back out, but you're going to motion Valdez Scantling across here to the left. Now, what I like to do with Taylor is just put him on a quick flat. You don't have to do that um, for this route combination to work right, but I just think it helps a little bit. You see he completely leaves Devontae Adams, and you're able to get this in. Now, if you were to run this on the left side of the field, um, or I'm sorry, the left hash, um, you would see that this works, I'm sorry, the right hash, where you're running to the wide side of the field, running it toward the left hash, uh, what you're going to see with this is this is going to get even more open when you motion Valdez Scantling across because there's going to be more room for those corners to maneuver and work. And what you'll see right there, click on, and all you're going to do is just kind of shield it with Valdez or uh, with Devontae Adams. So this is a phenomenal little route combination, in my opinion. Um, against the cover three. Now, again, you still have all your other things, right? Like if they're not playing hard flats, you can hit the running back very, very easily out of this little scheme right here. What I like about this too, um, for example, if I'm playing cover three defense, if they're not defending the flats, just take this route. Please take this route. This route is so good against zone. Taylor's route is one of the best routes in Madden 21, in my personal opinion. What's also really cool about this is how it beats cover two as well. So let me motion uh, Vadis Scantling over. And this is, the de this is the route combination against the cover two defense. And what you'll see is this corner route um, to Vadis or to Devontae Adams is going to torch cover two. It's going to torch cloud flat zones. Any cloud flat zone that they have over there, it doesn't matter if it's 20 yards, 25 yards. It does not matter. That route to uh, Devontae Adams. Adams, especially combined with the, the deep vertical route to about a scantling, you're going to be able to get that ball out there against it and absolutely torch the cover two. Now, let me show you cover four real quick. And I honestly haven't tested this out against cover four yet, but you should see a very, very similar uh, result here. So we're going to motion about a scantling over. Now, if I was actually running this in game, I would actually take Jones and probably put him on a streak. Um, but what you'll see is against the cover four, you see how that safety goes down? This is an absolute dot against the cover four. That deep uh, quarter zone, in my opinion, deep quarters are easy, um, fairly easy to manipulate this year. But what you'll see um, with the deep quarter zone on the left, and I mean, cover four drop is something, I mean, I'll tell you what, I've played some people that I've lost to 
that I've ran some really, really good cover four drops, you're going to see this play right here. This route combination absolutely destroys that cover four drop, and it destroys it quick and succinctly. So this is a very, very good little zone beater. It's just a standard flood. There's really nothing too crazy to this. But what I like about it is the fact that it really does do a good job at beating both the cover three and the cover four. Here's the cover three you see is going to beat it over the top again. So able to beat cover three, able to beat cover four, able to beat cover two, all of those defenses. And what I really like about it is it's going to the outside of the field. Most of my route combinations typically focus on the middle of the field. The problem with attacking the middle of the field so heavily is that's oftentimes where the user is on the field. And here you see it again, and we'll get out there. And that time, I think Aaron Rodgers ended up, we ended up throwing it just a little bit too late uh, on that. But you'll see, guys, this is a very, very good play in my opinion. Um, this play does really, really well against cover three as well as cover four. Just wait for it to get on the outside here. And if it, you know, if something like that happens, you can just aggressive catch it. Sometimes the receiver, um, sometimes Vada Scantling will get caught up. Now, if you take the running back here, you can put the running back in this position and run it like this as like a little five wide bunch. The route combination is still, you know, effectively the same. But as you see right there, it's, you know, it's, it's okay. It's average. But what I love about this route combination, like I said, is what it does to cover four and cover two. Um, and, you know, it does, it does do fairly well against cover three. And the other thing with cover three is a lot of these underneath routes you're going to have. But what I love is how it absolutely torches, um, torches cover four as long as you don't get a sack throw out a sack animation so we'll show you this one more time so this is this is cover four drop right this is just standard cover four drop what you're going to see is that deep quarter because it's such a delayed cut the deep quarter is going to go down to the out route which is going to leave a massive window to be able to hit Devonte adams and you're going to torch cover four for a one play touchdown in madden 21 so to me guys this is one of the better route concepts in madden 21 right now um just a very simple route concept but very very effective against man against zone really against anything the defense wants to throw at you um this route combination is going to do really 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 well uh, against that so real quick before we take off if you have not already decided to sign up for my texting membership i do want to just encourage you to consider doing that right now again to sign up for the texting membership all you have to do is just send me a personal uh, text message you could do that by just texting me my numbers in the top left screen of the corner of the screen um, but what the texting membership is is the texting membership basically to, tries to give you some type of meta update um kind of pro tactics you know what's the most effective tactics right now in the game we update it every single week for you so you get a video uh tip that is texted to you every single week and you can watch it right then and there and what i like personally about it is it really dives in to another level of depth about Madden. It, it dives into all of the kind of subtleties, subtle nuances that, you know, you might not be able to just pick up on in a standard tip video. So it's a little bit longer in nature. It's a little bit more in depth in nature. And so for those of you that really, 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 really want to get better, I would highly recommend this. Again, all you have to do is just text me. My number is 812-216- three six four four it's also in the description of all my videos and in the top left corner of the screen so i'd love you guys to text me if you have not already i do want to encourage you to go ahead and click um or to go ahead and join the Discord. Discord is a great way for you to be able to connect um, not only with me, but also with a ton of other players who love Madden and who love to get better. So if you haven't joined the Discord, be sure to do that. And last but not least, if you haven't already picked up a personal one-on-one -on -one coaching session i would highly recommend those if you haven't already picked that up coaching sessions are amazing a lot of people have gotten a lot of value out of the coaching sessions uh, this year in my opinion just so many good stories about how it's been able to help them how it's been able to just kind of lay some stuff out very very in-depth and very very detail oriented for you kind of very more um specific as well like very specific tactics and tips and things like that 
that. So just some really, really good stuff right now on the channel. I'm really, really excited. And I just want you to know that we are committed to helping you take your Madden game to the next level. So with that, we will see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Thank you so much for your time. We'll see you.